Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Cinema Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome any new viewers. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a gift for someone who's very special to me. She's like a grandma to me and it's going to be a Christmas gift. So if you follow me on social media, which links are down below, of course, you will have seen everything needed for today's project. So let's jump on in and I'll tell you what you need. All right, the first thing you're gonna need is, this is like a shadow box uh, sign. I actually got this from Walmart, I believe last year after Christmas, it was on sale. It was a kit. But if you could find something similar to this, it doesn't have to be the exact same thing, it will work. Or if you just find a box, it'll work. Just something that looks like this. You're gonna be needing some ivory paint. This is from Waverly Chalk Paint. Is ivory and you're gonna be using this as a base coat so this is going to be a Christmas gift so we're gonna use Christmas colors I'm gonna be using grotto from folk art home decor chalk paint it's just a green that I think works really well for Christmas and then the other paint I'm gonna be using is Imperial which is also from folk art chalk paint it is again red well it's red of course but it is again just paint I think will work really good for Christmas so you're going to be needing, I don't really know what these are called. I called them mini ornaments on social media, but I really don't know what you would call them. They're little flat pieces, as you can see. And they're just Christmas themed. So that's what we're going to be using also. And then you're going to need a paintbrush and some hot glue. So let's go on and jump in and we'll get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to use the ivory to do a base coat. I have done, I have done it where I've sanded this, but this is fine. This is just supposed to cover this up. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you'll go from there. So, but if you do want to sand it, you're more than welcome to sand the box if you need to. Also, if you're not covering up words, you really don't need this base coat. I'm using this base coat because I'm covering up the sign. If it's a box, then you can decide whether you want to do a base coat because the base coat pretty much just gives you a even playing field on your colors. So I do recommend if you're covering up something like words to use a base coat. I know I'm just repeating myself, but I'm explaining why. But if not, so this popped in my head because I wanted something special for this person and I decided to do a Christmas themed gift. So this is going to be her Christmas gift for me. And I just wanted a little trinket that she could put out at her house and when she does she could think of me. So just think about that when you're doing this. If there's somebody in your life that's special to you, you might want to do something like this for them. And if you know what they like, you can also incorporate that instead of what I'm doing. But this is a Christmas gift, and I know she likes Christmas, but say they like cats, you can incorporate cats or baked, you know, if they like baked goods, you can find donuts or candy or something and put it around it just go with what they like because this is ultimately for them and no the base coat does not have to be perfect you're just trying to make it look plain so I'm going to do the whole thing, the tops, the bottom, the sides, but once it dries, we will move on to the next step. Okay, so it's dry enough, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the outside, and I decided I want to paint it green. Y'all can pick whatever color y'all want to pick. Y'all do not have to do exactly what I'm doing.
So I'm just painting outside part green. And I'm going to do the inside red, just to let you know. And that's how I decided I wanted it to look. Excuse me. Sorry about that, y'all. I got it completely out of screen. I'm sorry. So, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'll finish painting it. But so far, that's how I want it to look. And I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I'll probably touch up a little bit more. But, so far, so good. Alright, y'all, now that the green has dried, we're going to do the inside red. So you're just going to paint and cover up everything you paint it. I agree. Sorry. I'm trying to do my best to make sure I get it completely in view, but Sometimes I think I'm in view and then I look and nope.
it dries, I'm going to do a second coat, but I'm going to paint up here red also. But I'm going to use a smaller brush because I really don't want to make a mess. And I probably could have got a bigger one than this, but this is fine. Don't worry, if you make a mess, you can fix it. Okay, I got a bigger brush. And as you can see, you just want to try to carefully make sure they don't go over onto the green. But I will show you what you do if you do do that, which I have done. So, we're just going to go back and do a second coat on the inside. And I'll show y'all when it's done. So while that's drying, I'm going to show you how you can clean up where you, make, where you might make some little mistakes. I don't know if you can see it. There is red right around there on, in areas. So, you're going to just take the little detail brush and add some green on it. And make 
make sure you can see what I'm doing. And you're just going to lightly go over with the red set and try to clean it up a little. You may not do a perfect job, but you can get a little cleaned up. All the way around it. Oh, sorry, this is not easy. Just take your time. Don't go too fast. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing's ever perfect. Just try to clean up a little bit. Sorry. I'm trying to show y'all what to do, but at the same time, I'm actually trying to do it. There you go. It's cleaned up. Once it dries, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, y'all. So the outside is dry enough for what I plan on doing. Oops. So here are some of the different designs. We have a Christmas tree, some bells, a wreath, some different kinds of Santa Clauses, a polar bear, different reindeer, an ornament. An angel, a present, stockings, a mitten, and a candy cane. So those are just some different things. And we're just going to work on gluing them to the outside of the box. And going from there. So that is our next step. Okay, y'all. So out of the 15 I sh told you about, I picked 12. And I'm just going to glue them on the side. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm just going to take and I thought I'd just glue them. Shall ignore that. <laughs> and we're just going to take the different things and put them on there. And I have 12, so I thought I put, I'm sorry y'all, I thought I put three on each side. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing ever is perfect. So, I'm just trying to. Make a cute little box for her. I think she will absolutely love this, y'all. I really do. So, what I'm doing is I put, let me show you. I put 
Christmas tree, snow, uh, snow, so polar bear and a present. And on the next one so far, I've done the reindeer and a Christmas ornament. And I think I'm going to do reef on this. Sorry. I'm sorry y'all. Attack of the glue. And then I think I'm gonna do an angel. And then I think a candy cane. Make sure y'all can see this really good. And then I think I want to do the bells. And it doesn't have to be perfectly evenly spaced out. I'm not perfect. It will never be perfect for me. And I just think that makes it so much cooler. And then I'm going to do the mitten. And then I want to do Santa Claus and the sleigh. So with the two I didn't go with. I didn't go with the head Santa. The, the, the Santa that was just a head. Or the reindeer that was just a head. I did the full body. So... But you can do this however you want. And then the last thing I have is stocking. And look at that. I think that is absolutely cute. I think she's going to love it. And I can't wait to give it to her for Christmas. So that is literally it for today's project. It is done. I'm happy with it. If you like this project, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.